What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Here's a little update of what we got going on around here. Um, I've been pretty busy with my other business, my lawn business, so I haven't been doing too much with the auto shop stuff. But either way, we um, had a big Route 66 festival in town this weekend, and I took the car to it with the family. We cruised, did all kinds of stuff, prayed, had all kinds of uh, fun at the, you know, it's a big festival. It's not just a car show. But either way, that's all done with. So now, I have actually signed up for the burnout pad at the ice cream cruise from 1320 video this year and my buddy Andrew at Skids for Kids is putting it on, or is hosting it essentially, the, the burnout yard at the 1320 ice cream cruise. So I'm friends with him and that's essentially who got me interested in building this car the way it's going to be eventually when I can finally get it there. But it's been a long road, but we're about a year and a half into the build on it, and it's just been slow going at it parts-wise, and got a bug in here. But either way, I'm going to go over some of the things I need to get done on it so I can make sure I can do the burn yard the way that I would like to. It probably won't be to full potential, but I should have it good enough to get in the burn yard and destroy some tires. So let's get you flipped around, and I'll let you know what's going on. So one thing I have been getting done is I drug my wife's 72 bug over here that uh, I need to start working on it again. I got a drop beam sitting down there to lower it. Uh, I do have the fenders, they're just not on it right now. They're at the house. Um, we are gonna set it on the ground, finish the body work, and we're gonna paint it purple and cream color and whatever and have fun with it. It does run good, we just don't. Um, I made her stop driving it because the Front drop beam is all rotted out like I can stick my finger inside the beam for the suspension. So that's not safe to drive. So I made her stop driving it. And we're going to get uh, a lowered beam put in it and get it all dropped down. But either way, we're here to talk about this thing, the monster. So in order to get this thing ready to do some burnouts um, in good fashion, I got to do a little bit of tuning on the engine because I haven't done really too much performance tuning on the engine, just streetable and drivable stuff. So I've got to work on some of that. Um, I do have what I'll probably end up doing. I've got the old original horns that went on it. So I can put them back on or these actually will just sit down. I can get on there on top of those and the other one. Just throw some clamps on there and throw those on there like that and that will at least put my exhaust away from the car because I already kind of knew it but I had got called out on it on a Facebook post uh, about my exhaust going straight up in the air and what it happens is it draws the smoke into the car and you want it to blow away from the car not draw it in so that's an easy fix on that for now um, I do have some seats that I got out of a Civic. So I've got them just strapped to some two by fours so I could get my heights set up the way that I wanted. And this one is actually setting on a couple of two by tens or something like that to raise it a little more, but that's actually too high for me a few inches. So I'm actually gonna get rid of those and drop the seat down to this level. But now that I know that the height that I want, I can build the actual still brackets and put in it and secure these down so I actually have a good seat. Um, I have another shifter cable because my shifter cable was all messed up. And I've got the proper one, I've got to get it installed. Um, I have a drive shaft in the car out of a three quarter ton Chevy truck and it's, it's a great big monster drive shaft. But it's a little too short. Um, and it won't fit in my drive shaft, drive shaft hoop. So I'm going to go up this week and have a new one built for it that is smaller and just as strong, but will fit in the safety loop. So that'll be fixed. Um, we've got to get in the rear end. It's got a, uh, I think it's like a 308 open rear end in it. Works great for just cruising around. I get good gas mileage. I only used a few gallons of gas driving around this whole weekend. But does not do anything for burnouts or just power. So 
I think I'm going to put some 373s in it. I was thinking like a 410, but I do want to be able to drive this car a little bit, and it just has a three-speed transmission. So I am most likely going to put an Eaton locker in it with some 373s. I actually already talked to a buddy of mine that does that stuff for the living. He is going to come over, and we are going to throw that all in there. Um... I've got a line lock that I need to put in a ball style manual valve for the rear brakes so I can shut the rear brakes off. Um, I do have an adjustable portioning valve so I can take a lot of that away anyways. Uh, got, find over here, got some race harnesses that I've got to get put in. And it's a mess. Either, yeah, race harness. You get the gist. They go in, they hold you in. You don't fly out. Um, got to uh, take care of a little bit of wiring. Um, it's all good, but I just need to clean it up. It's just kind of a mess down there, so i got to clean all of that up. Um, the inside has got some aluminum paneling for wheel wells inside. But obviously, aluminum, thin aluminum does not work very well for burnouts. It will tear straight through it. So, we have actually not done anything in the trunk. Other than I just crudely screwed a piece down here to just throw something in here for right around. Uh, let me find a light. So, we haven't closed any of this in yet on either side. What I'm going to do is I've got some thicker steel that we are going to actually come in on the bottom side and weld in to the frame to the body because it's all just one piece now. There's no bushings or anything. It's just all solid together. So we're going to weld this all in and box it in and get that all closed in. So that is safe for blowing tires. We are also going to get like a... I don't know, one and a half or two inch piece of angle iron, uh, six inches long, and get bolted up here on the bottom behind the wheel and sharpen it so when you come around and you've got tread flopping, it will help cut chunks of that tread off. Um, but other than that, I don't think I have a whole lot to do. Well, okay, so I have uh, rock lights on this car, and one of them is up right in here well obviously that will not work for burnouts but this quarter right here is double stacked and it's this thick so i'm going to actually cut on the inside a section out and recess the rock light and get some polyglass and cover it with a sheet of like quarter inch polyglass and it'll never tear through that um might rip the poly off but it ain't gonna tear it up probably. And then run the wire through the inside of the body. Um, and so just a, a few safety things uh, that I've gotta get done and a little bit of tuning done. And I think we will probably, hopefully be ready to make it to the 1320 ice cream cruise. Well, we'll be there either way. But whether or not I went ahead and signed up and made sure I reserved a spot to give myself the motivation to get off my ass and get the car to do burnouts. So I do need to get me some steel wheels because I do plan on popping a tire as long as I can. And I, these are just temporary wheels anyways. Um, but I need to find me some steel wheels for the back. I need to go get a couple of tires. I already found some... Uh, a place to get new tires decently priced to just destroy so hopefully we can get it to tire shredding status and get down there with them boys skits for kids and tear it up so until the next video i'm out